Okay, the command line is asking you for the starting point of the line. And let's say we'll start at x equals 0 and y equals 10. And hit the enter key. Okay, now we could also have done this by freehand. You notice that uh, right up at the top of the workspace at uh, coordinates 0 and 10 of the first point, we could have just entered uh, any points using the mouse. But I'll continue entering using the keyboard. Uh, the end point of my line will be 0 and minus 10. I hit the enter key and you notice an autograph window has opened up showing the Y component of the B field along that line and I'll make the fonts just a bit larger here to make it easy to see. So uh, and also I'll show the auxiliary axis. Okay so you notice here again we have our our line it went from uh, X equals 0 Y equals 10 for the first point and the end point is at uh, x equals 0, y equals minus 10. We also show the third coordinate z equals 0, but that's uh, not really applicable for this model. And you notice that the B field is extremely uniform uh, in the region between the coils right in the center, which is a property of course of Helmholtz coils. Now as I move my mouse pointer onto the little markers that represent the coordinate points that were plotted, you'll notice that a tooltip appears showing you what the coordinate of the point is uh, in terms of the uh, the distance along the plot and also what is the magnitude of the Y component of the B field. Now whenever you see a tooltip if you right click that displays a menu uh, which uh, we can use to analyze the graph further. We'll do uh, a differentiation of this graph. Calculate the derivative. Okay now this shows you the derivative of that graph and once again you'll notice that uh, the derivative uh, goes through a sort of a point of inflection. It's zero right at the center and of course that is a, a defining characteristic of Helmholtz coils as we would expect. Now one last thing I'll do, I'll create a contour plot of the Y component and we'll do a very fine density and we'll add a few more contours and we'll create that plot. And I'll also make that solid. Okay. And we'll put a scale. Okay. So uh, actually perhaps it would have been better to have fewer numbers. Okay. And I'm going to restrict the range. You'll notice that in the center of the coils it's very uniform. You have uh, very large uh, values, very large positive uh, values are indicated by a red color, large negative values are indicated by a blue color, and the largest values of the field are of course in the vicinity of the coils themselves. We'll restrict the range of our plot from 0 0.0095 to 0.0105 Actually, I'm going to remove that scale again. So here what we're showing is that within the region shown, wherever there's color here, that means that the field is between uh, 0 0.0105 Tesla and 0 0.0095 Tesla. Now in the vicinity of the coils, the field is higher. So where you make the transition from a red to a right region, that means the field is higher than this maximum value of 0 0.00105. Now wherever there's a transition from a dark blue area to a white area, that means the field is weaker than 0 0.0095 Tesla. So this is a very good indication if you wanted to find out what regions um, of the field or in what regions of between the coils you'd have this uniform field, you can uh, examine it using the contour plot. And now that completes the analysis that we're going to do and it completes this sample session.